Hi guys. So, <laughs> I know it's a fun bag. We are going to be in a parade that requires our horses to wear diapers. So you heard me right. It's a diaper. I know. So while I work Sunday, I'm going to go ahead and put these on them and let them stand tied until they figure out the feeling of it. And then I'm going to start driving it, them with it so they're ready for the parade. Um, it seems that more parades are going to the no poop plan, or I guess they just they just don't know why. But um, so it's gonna be a way of life, I guess. Diapers for my children and my horses. So, all right, you ready? She's like, no, I'm crazy. So just like this. Bring this over here so I, maybe you can watch me put it on, okay? Should probably step over. Can you see? Now, dingling, if you swing over, it's gonna help, baby. So, if you look at this here, this part goes on the top to hold their tail in. So, we're gonna put her whole tail through this hole here. So, just like the crouper. Get every single hair so it doesn't pull. All right, so there we have it, like that. There's our bag, but I don't know where that's going to attach because it doesn't make sense. So I'll probably have to make something to go right there, but can go ahead and I, mean, I should have unvelcroed this first. Okay, we'll try that. I don't know what I'm gonna attach that to. So, all right, so try again. Give me all of your tail, all of your tails. We are all the way through. Make sure nothing is between the diaper and the tail. Put it down. Now, okay, take the Velcro, one there, one here, one there. And you don't want this tight. This is just to keep the bag attached to it when she lifts her tail to poop. So whatever you do, don't tighten that down like crazy. Uh, girl, what are we gonna clip this to? Because if we clip it up any higher, it's not going to be... Okay, don't move. It's just like, does it look like I'm moving, lady? Maybe I can just do this. Don't know if that's going to work, but... I guess you don't want to stand behind your pony when you're doing this, but... When you know them very well, sometimes you slack off on your safety stuff. So, well, I guess that'll just hold it until I come back with something. One sec. All right, so let's see. Good girl. She's never had one on and she's not losing her marbles yet, which is fantastic. So, handy dandy until I can find something to use. I'm going to put this here and I'm leaving it long so I can tie it and know exactly where it needs to be. So that looks about right because you got to think the weight of the manure is going to hold this down so her tail alone could not hold on to this. All right so for now that's good. I'll cut this slack off and I don't want this to pinch her so I'm going to take this back where it needs to be because I don't want her in pain ever. So, oh, now what did I do? I know. I say that and then I'm acting crazy. 
might be good to just take this off. If I do have my britchin. That's probably where this is supposed to go up on this ring, but she's a little bit bigger than I guess the mini size that they thought they were sending or I thought I needed to buy. So, all right, so I think that's it. Oh no, we have to do these hold back straps. I'm not really sure what we're gonna find to attach. Oh, no. So, I'm gonna go actually to this ring right here. Oh, like that. And then I'll move the trace later, but that's fine right there for now. And then, oh, I still gotta trim my string off here. All right, up to this one too. That's like way tight, girl. That's not gonna work. Let's go down to our tree ring. I don't think we want it real tight. Take this off and put it here. I'm a standing cockeyed, so well for sake of fitting it, let's make sure it's in the right spot. Okay, I need to cut my string still. Try that. I'm sure it says on the instructions. Actually gonna take these down to the yoke ring. Actually, this is crazy. This is like so many straps. Uh, put it under stretching. Doesn't impede with harness function. You're a good girl. Good job standing there. All right, well, setting it up and actually having it catch poop might be two different stories. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. All right, so let's go under our harness, down to the ring. There we go. That might actually be much better. Okay. And then she needs to get you to no. We like sleigh bells. When you pull, you will go jingle. Right. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna take her on a little bit of a walk right here so she gets the feeling of it because it's gonna feel funny. All right, Mama.
that wasn't too bad. I just had her bells here. She likes to paw when she thinks I'm getting feed out for everybody. So we're actually gonna use the pawing to be constructive today and I just am single the whole time. Good job. You don't normally put bells here. It's just because she's getting used to wearing them and she's just gonna stand tied for a little bit until she poops in a bag and realizes it won't eat her. Huh. Then we're gonna go for a drive with all of our stuff. Come on, you. Okay. Stand. All right. <laughs> now, I'm over. Let's go again. We're gonna go out to the pasture. <sighs> because, why does it seem so strange? I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just a dork. So I got a cut in my hand. So I got blood on my hand, blood on his butt. Bam's always so ready to go. Like life is too short to just go slow when you can go really fast all the time. I put a spool there, so it's a little bit of an obstacle. She really loves to use her britchen and slow the cart down, and it's really cute. Okay, hi boys. He is looking so much better out there. All right, he's a killer. Well, so far the bells are not bothering anybody. Bam really does not like bells. He has been on bells before, well, has had bells on before. But he's just not a fan of the jingle. I mean, he's never done anything stupid. He just doesn't like not being able to hear as much. You see him with his ears back at me, like trying to figure out what I'm trying to tell him. Come on, Tonky. But, He's a good boy. Wow, first time with diapers. There's no manure in there, but oh. I'll do some leaning. All right. <laughs> I have a triangle. Oh, that's cool. I should put something shiny, like right here on this other back end. Then it'll really illuminate. What? If I wanted to, I could drive on the road and I would feel safe with that light. But anyways, it's just a magnetic and battery powered. I think it takes D batteries. Oh, no, turn off. There we go. 